Jelly. Methods to quantify moon jellyfish Aurelia labiata aggregations using aerial photographs. And I worked with the wonderful Dr. Julie Keister. So a little bit about me. Sorry for the cuteness overload of all my animals. <laughs> like I said, I am from Eastern Washington University. I'm a dual major in biology and environmental science. And I'm proud to be a future learning scientist. I'm also a mom to many dogs, cats, plants, and about 30 aquatic snails, <laughs> And I'm also a serial crafter, so I crochet and I paint, and I even for a short time did like arrowhead making, so I'm into a little bit of everything. So, like I mentioned, uh, my project was quantifying jellyfish aggregations. I had two objectives for this project. The first was to develop, to develop an up-to-date and refined image processing protocol to go forward with analysis of the future images. And I also wanted to determine whether image processing of orthorectified images can provide a quantitative, me quantitative measurement for these jellyfish aggregations in Cajun Sound. So how I did this is I used orthorectified images to gain an estimation of jellyfish area and coverage of square meters, and orthorectified image is basically taking an image that was taken at an angle, so in this case aerial photographs, and making it to where you're looking at it as if it's straight on with um, no angle or anything like that. Um, and, what, um, and what did I do during this time? I tested existing, this existing protocol on three months of images and made changes to it based on improvements in the so some questions to ask me are, what impacts can large jellyfish aggregations have on their environment? Uh, can you walk me through the steps of image processing? And what are some limitations for this protocol? Because there are a few. And what is orthorectification? Again, because when I first heard the word, um, the definition kind of escaped me immediately. <laughs> and uh, how 